Tushkevitz, the Wall Street Journal reporter, been in prison for almost a year. You would be willing to release him to us and we'll bring him back to the United States. We have done so many gestures of goodwill out of decency that I think we have run out of them. We have never seen anyone reciprocate to us in a similar manner. However, in theory, we can say that we do not rule out that we can do that if our partners take reciprocal steps. What makes this difference is the guy's obviously not a spy. He's a kid. And maybe he was breaking your law in some way, but he's not a super spy. And everybody knows that. And he's being held hostage in exchange, which is true. With respect, it's true. And everyone knows it's true. So maybe he's in a different category. Maybe it's not fair to ask for, you know, somebody else in exchange for letting him out. Maybe it degrades Russia to do that. He's not just a journalist. I reiterate, he's a journalist who was secretly getting confidential information. I do not rule out that the person you refer to may return to his motherland. By the end of the day, it does not make any sense to keep him in prison in Russia. Yeah, what confidential information have you found that he is actually leaking confidential things and that he is actually there to get information and actually there to spy on Russia? Or is the quote-unquote confidential information that he is pushing or that he is trying to get on Russia? Or is that just your way of basically making up a BS law to lock him up because you did not like that he was reporting on the crimes of Russia? He did not like who what he was reporting on on what Russia was doing. Sorry, I like some of Russia's laws, but the other ones are retarded. They are such, I mean, such a corrupt state that this guy can't even report on the things that they are talking about. Because, yeah, I saw America. Yeah, they go under the guise of a de democracy, but they are not a democracy. They are a theocracy under the guise of a democracy because during the modern day, you need to say you're a democracy to be elected and to be in that theocracy. It's, it's really weird. And you could just do whatever you want. It's an authoritative state, which is why this makes no sense. He's not stated any facts or anything on why this has happened. And the case isn't ongoing. I don't even know if there was a case because he was just locked up and said, Oh, you're a spy. You're getting locked up because Putin can do that. Because Putin is a dictator. Let's be real. He's, he's a dictator at the end of the day. And I'm not going to act like some of the things that Joe Biden does. Some of the things that our past presidents has done to certain places in the Middle East because their uh, foreign currency was getting threatened. It wasn't dictator <laughs> dictatorial, and it wasn't like that. But I'm going to say this. Uh, Putin is absolutely a modern dictator. And in these senses, he, he also just said, it makes no sense at the end of the day to keep him in Russia. Then free him. Free him from Russia. Right now. Do it tomorrow. Le let him roam and be free in Russia at least. And not have to go back to the, his homeland. Because, like, like, what? Why does he have to stay in prison unless you decide I'm sending him back? Like, if you want to send him back and it doesn't make sense at the end of the day. But I think he just said that because he couldn't name any facts of the case. And he knew he had no information to cite. Um... That literally makes no sense. Just let him free then. That's the only reason. You're using it as a cop-out to try to make yourself seem nice to United States listeners so you can spread your propaganda here. Like, and I'm not even attacking Tucker for having it on. I think part of journalism is you need to take all views and points. But I just think these opinions he is stating are just uh, straight disinformation. Because another thing is... um. He tries to say that Russia has threatened his hand way further than the other people have. You know why they have? Because Trump would threaten him with bombs. Trump would say, I'm going to destroy your country if you don't free these people. If you, like, outstep one inch, I'm going to destroy you. The reason why he no longer has this reach of hand and no longer meets and talks and, like, really nice to Joe Biden because Joe Biden isn't authoritative and joe biden isn't putting his putting the right steps forward to stop putin from doing what he's doing so putin walks all over him so now that putin is not doing those he's trying to use those past actions which he was forced to do because he would overstep by a billion trillion miles and then trump would put his foot down so that it's not even true that's also more propaganda that we've done more than the west with this with that we have helped the west and we tried to help them uh now in the past, maybe, in the past, Russia has tried to join NATO and stuff, 
But I don't even know if Putin was in office and then. I doubt it. I know Putin was around during the Cold War and stuff. But he was a KGB agent. He wasn't fully the president. And after the KGB or uh, the, the USSR fell. Then after the first president. I believe he was the second president. And he's been putting these dictator rules. So he cannot be ruled out and not be voted out as president. Because in real life people don't really like him. Because of all his authoritative laws. That persecute and assassinate and kill and hurt people that are in Russia that want to speak their minds and speak because they think they're in a democracy when they're not and really it's just stupid because he only did those good acts his forefathers did those good acts number one and tried to take steps into helping the west and being a part of the west and yeah they were denied because of a blood feud between the west because their stupid leaders decided we're going to have a blood feud which is why everything in ukraine is going on right now between russia and russia's feud with the west but i'd like to say that putin has not done great things for the west it hasn't stuck out its hand for the west yeah i think russia should look for its own needs just as the united states should look for its own needs but instead our tax dollars are going to ukraine and israel but um also tax dollars which we could have solved homelessness i believe it was 20 times over for just what we gave to israel and what we gave to Ukraine, imagine all the things we could have done, all the damage we could have reversed, and all the more things we could have done without Biden ruining it all. Even, like, not the damage that he's done, because he's done really bad damage to our economy. If we just put that money towards that, we'd fix it. But if he just decided not to donate all this money to Ukraine and just send it to causes, he would have been a much better president. And maybe people would actually vote for him, but no, we're getting Trump back. But here's the thing. None of that is true, and he's only using it in stating lies, and none of the facts he stated are real, none of them are actually facts, and he's just stating a bunch of propaganda to make him seem like he's much better than the West when he has no facts or data, he only silenced that guy, and he only put the, little, the poor kid in jail because he didn't like the opinions that he was stating. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just saw this clip come across my feed, and I, I've heard about this, I might watch it, I don't know. But I just wanted to state some of the misinformation that Putin is bringing. And I, I don't hate Tucker for talking to him because I believe he's doing what is good in his journalistic aspect. And he is doing the right journalistic thing by getting both sides of the stories and doing these interviews. And I, I really don't see anything wrong with it. I just wanted to critique some of the things that Putin said. So yeah, that's pretty much it.